Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sophia Camarda if you're new and today we're going to be doing an Animal Crossing town tour as well as a little bit of villager hunting. So we have an action packed day. <laughs> so as you could see, we have an empty house plot right here actually because one of my villagers just moved out. So we need to find her replacement. So let's just get into it with the tour. Okay, so we've got Isabel here to greet us. Delfina is the name of my town. I actually got that from Super Mario Sunshine. So so here's my girl and my house. What we're gonna do is head on into the town plaza. By the way, this is my favorite Animal Crossing character. Her name is Violet. I have literally loved her since I was like eight. I'm not even kidding. So here is the town plaza and obviously this is where all the magic happens <laughs> and I just tried to make it cute by putting all these flowers around it. I kind of wish they were like red or something because it's more of like a winter theme. Now when you go down, there's this little fountain which is so cute. It's kind of like a little common area thing. My town fruit is peaches, which is my favorite fruit in Animal Crossing. Over here, this is so funny. This is actually Apple, and I got him just because, I mean, come on, we love Apple on this channel. So of course I had to have Apple the villager. And then as you head down, there is this little like party area. It kind of reminds me of Miami, to be honest. Like it's just a vibe with the palm trees and the pool and the LEDs. And then down here is like a little luau area. So I'm just feeling all of the island vibes. And then as you go back up, there is a neighborhood. So what I did was make all of my houses put into one area. Okay, why is there a weed? I literally just cleaned up so that you guys would think that I'm not <laughs> lazy and here we are. Walking into the neighborhood, we have an open plot and actually Freya used to live here. She was a pink wolf, which she was so cute, but like I just got sick of her and she asked me if I should go and I was like, honestly, if you're not vibing with us, just go. Like we don't want that energy, get out. So she left and we're gonna find her replacement today. And then down here, we've got Al, I think his name is. Oh no, his name is Groucho. I'm fake because I don't even know who lives <laughs> in my town. <laughs> Al used to live here. He was a gorilla, but now we have Groucho. I actually love Groucho even though I forgot about him because he is a grumpy little bear and he used to live in my Wii Animal Crossing town. He's so sassy, but that's why I love him and that's why I asked him to come onto my town. Then going this way, this is Cube. He's a little penguin and he's actually so cute and I love how he's fitting all of the winter vibes. I know this is really trash, but I just want to like make myself a little smaller. <laughs> Don't mind that. Then going back up this way, we have this little bench where you could just sit and think about life. So let's do that for a second. So then up here is Apple's house, which is cute. Going back this way, this is like a little park. I put a little painting thing here just to make it look like an activity. And we have a waterfall as you walk in from the airport. I have a yellow airport. And that's the flag that I designed for it. Then going this way, we actually have, oh my God, what's her name? Fuchsia. <laughs> Marina. Oh my God. God, I am so fake. This is Marina. She's an octopus. And even though I forgot her name, she's so cute. Actually, I have her house by the beach, which is so cool. And in my head, Marina and Zucker are dating because I also have him. So it's like two octopus right next to each other. What does she want? Curious what I have in my pockets, darling? I bet you are. Suffer no longer. It's a festive wreath. Wow, that's so nice of her because I honestly put up no Christmas decorations. So this would be Marina's house, as you could see, and I put flowers to match her color, which I thought was cute. And then over here is Zucker's house. So yeah, they're dating. <laughs> so then up here, we have Margie's house. She's actually like a circus elephant. I like her. She's not that cute, but I had her on my Nintendo DS, and she was one of my my favorite villagers on the DS. So I try to collect like all my favorite villagers into one game with this, like from the Wii, from the DS. It's a freaking family reunion on this island. Then up here, we have Daisy's house and she is so cute. She's like a little lavender puppy looking thing. So now let's head on up. This is what I always like to call the bad bitch corner because these are some of my favorite villagers. This one is actually Olivia the cat and she seems to be in her house. So let's go check her out. We've got Margie and Olivia hanging out without me because they're shady. But let's say hi to them. <laughs> Have you been avoiding me? Girl, you are cooped up in Olivia's house, like not even saying hi to me. So what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm so toxic. <laughs> 
I should cut this out before I really do annoy you. Now I feel bad. <laughs> and then this is Olivia. She's just a cat. <laughs> She's talking about her skincare regimen. That's so funny. This is why I like her. You must moisturize your skin. I agree with that. Then we've got Violet, which is literally my favorite Animal Crossing character of all time. I just like her because she's so sassy. Like she always has so much attitude and I just always love that about her. And then going up this way is obviously my house. We can go inside, but honestly, like it's not that impressive. I don't really like decorating my house in Animal Crossing. I care more about like the exterior and the town. Oh my God, I have a roach. <laughs> Okay, pretend you didn't see that. <laughs> That is quite embarrassing. I should have cleaned up. But we've got some nice stockings up here from last year. We've got Violet's poster because I'm a stalker. We've got some crystals. We've got some plants. It is just everything. We've got a computer in the corner, a peace lily. And then this way is my bedroom. Oh my god, another roach. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's like a cherry blossom theme in my room and the wallpaper actually moves which is cute I've got my diploma because your girl is graduated essential oils and pretty much anything you would need Okay, this roach problem is getting out of hand because what is going on? <sighs> so then the kitchen <laughs> That is literally disgusting. Because <laughs> there's like food on the ground, roaches crawling around like, oh yeah, here's my island. That is disgusting. Anyway, we've got this like coffee siphon thing, we'll call it. And then we've got every kind of drink you would imagine. Iced tea, cranberry juice, matcha, an empty cup of coffee, an espresso machine, which actually looks very familiar. Oh my god, I didn't know the windows got snow in the winter. That's cute. So yeah, I have no furniture and I'm broke. Now going to the right is the bathroom. Okay, this is every single room. So this is the bathroom and it's got like, okay, great. All the roaches are gone. Congratulations. This room, I tried to make it look almost like steamy with the cloud floor and it's supposed to look very zen. It's got this shower with no door or anything. I don't know. I don't even like who even goes in their house, honestly. Like why do you play Animal Crossing to sit in your house? Heading back on this way, we've got a nice little flower path that I'm still working on. And then this is actually my like, like fruit orchard kind of thing. I have signs for each kind of fruit that I'm growing. It's pretty cute actually. I got the signs off Twitter like years ago, but I just have like a couple different kinds of fruits. I collect them to get some extra money sometimes. Then we've got this crafting bench here. So before we go on that way, let me show you the back of this. So going back into the orchard, we have like some flower hybrid gardening stations, I would call it. So these are good because I like to make a lot of hybrid flowers which you will see later on. Then going on up, we have a little bit of a farm going on. So we have some potatoes, some wheat grass, and then also some tomatoes, which is cute. And then heading on this way, we have almost like a little Christmas tree path, which I had this vision years ago, and I'm so happy to see it come into fruition because I put these trees like this just picturing what it would look like in the winter time. And honestly, they're really hitting. So I love that. And then heading on up, I have a little bit of like a zen garden going on so i've got some bamboo this is kind of like a sauna area with some slippers and it's just supposed to be almost like a spa up here like a little aspen getaway and then down this way we have a hot tub i wish you could go in but you can't so that's like slightly annoying but it's fine then heading over the bridge we've got this little common area and when you go to the side here i actually have like this little stargazing section which i thought was really cute and i have all the different sign star fragments. I think Sagittarius is, yep, it's that one. <laughs> that is the best sign. And then it crosses on over actually back into the um, farming area. So I just thought that was cute. It's all like connected. But let's head on back this way over the bridge. This is actually my little shopping area. So if you go on down this way, it's connected to the town hall. I'm just showing you guys all the different ways. But this is the town hall. So if you go to the left, we have this cute little pathway here. And then you go up and you have the Nook Brothers store. Is that what it's called? Nook cranny. <laughs> The Nook Brothers store, I can't. I guess we can pop in on them. Hello, guys. Let's see what they've got for sale. Honestly, it looks like a bunch of garbage. <laughs> Bye! 
So then heading this way, we've got some more waterfalls and flowers and whatnot. And then this is actually a new path. So this is more of like a brick, kind of like fall area because I always love the fall. So we got this nice bridge. And then going down this way is actually my apple path, which is so cute during the fall time. It is cute during the winter too, actually. But when everything is like warm tones, it just looks like it just hits. It literally just hits. So let's walk down. As you can see, it's quite long. So there's that. And this connects again to the town hall area. So if you go on this way, we've got this. And then there's also like this little sand bonfire area. It's kind of lackluster to be honest, but I don't really know what else to do here. Then we've got this little heart pond over here, which I thought was cute. It's kind of supposed to be like romantic. This kind of looks like a little like wedding scene, which is cute. We have the campsite up here. And then over here is obviously the beach. Oh, this is that girl that sells the carpets. I think her name is like Sahara. Let's see. Well, I have zero dollars, so I'm not going to be buying anything. <laughs> so now let's head on up toward the beach. I... Okay, I forgot. I didn't clean this part of my island, but it, honestly, like, this is the real island tour. Like, we're not going to try to make it all perfect, okay? This is my lighthouse. We've got a ton of flowers around it that honestly bother me, but whatever. And then up here is a little bit of, um, nothing. <laughs> nothing. So now heading up this ranch, we've got this ranch. <laughs> so now heading up this ramp, we've... <laughs> I can't say it seriously. So now heading up this ramp, we've got this museum up here. This took me a while to build, so I hope you guys are impressed. I have like a lot of fossils and fish, but I don't have any artwork or anything. I'll spare you from going in there. So now we've got this cute little walkway. And look who it is. It's Groucho. This is really jangling up my nerves. He's mad. Then going this way, we've got just this little walkway from the fall area. So if you wanted to go like upstairs, it's easy. I try to make my eyes island really walkable and then up here is actually just like blank on purpose so on the Wii like I had an area like this and I thought it was so cute for some reason on the Wii game they used to put like a wall on the side so I was trying to mimic that with the trees and I just have like this cute little waterfall here and you could even go up if you wanted to there's not much up here but just the fact that you can is pretty nice we have a lost item it looks like so then when you go over this bridge, we've got actually my little like hybrid flower display. I don't know if I like the area of this, to be honest with you. Kind of looks like a mess, but I wanted a place to put all of my flowers that are hybrids. And I'm missing a few, but like we've really got somewhere, honestly. Like this is quite impressive. So I just don't know where to put it. Like I want to display all of my hybrids, but I just don't know where. Back this way is actually like a hidden walkway on purpose. So I put this tree to kind of like block it, but you can go between these walls <laughs> and then you can head on down and this is usually where that red ship shows up with all of the stolen artwork so it's supposed to look kind of like sneaky and you can just jump across this waterfall we have the able sisters up here and this is just a cute little area i like the flowers that i put here it's just like pleasant to the eye to be honest but i think that's the whole tour i don't know if i'm forgetting anything i guess i'll show you this random section of my beach but there's really nothing that was kind of the whole tour now what i want to do is go on like an island tour and try to find a replacement for that house plot because if you don't find someone I'm sure you guys know this someone random will move in and we're not having that my only issue is like I don't have a lot of nook mile tickets we better have luck on our side today honestly so we've got literally enough for like two tickets so here we go one nook mile ticket please they should let you buy these in bulk like why can't you select that you want two? this is a process Which Wish us luck. <laughs> All right, here we go. Shut up. <laughs> like, shut up. We just want to see who lives here. What do you guys think? Make a vote in the comments. I think it's going to be someone ugly at first, but maybe we'll get lucky. I just need... How do I open my ladder? Oh my god, I'm such a noob. Let's head on up. They're really making us put in the work here. I see legs. Ew. Ew, what is that? Boris? I am so good on that. No. Goodbye. I'm sorry, but that is not what I pictured. I have to immediately flee the island <laughs> usually people like collect the resources and stuff I do not have the time sir you lied to me <laughs> 
You lied to me. If the second person is ugly, I do have a trick up my sleeve. Please be someone cute. Like, please be someone cute. I'm literally manifesting. Like, please be someone cute. Why am I, like, nervous? Like, my heart is actually racing a little bit. Ew. Can we really not? Like, can we really not? Here on vacation, soaking in the vibes. I don't see a single vibe. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> this is why I hate villager hunting because you could literally be doing this all day and waste all of your nook miles literally just doing this. I'm going to pull out my amiibo card because I have a villager that I actually would like to invite instead. So stay tuned. This is Butch. He's a cute little dog and he looks like Dolce. And I got this from my brother. So we're actually just going to scan this in and we're going to invite him to live on our island because villager hunting is whack and honestly an amiibo card is always the move <laughs> here we yes here we go he's so cute look at his little sweater that is literally dolce <laughs> okay so now we have to go to the campsite and he should be there and we just invite him to live with us basically move out of my way <laughs> <laughs> We're like barging in. Look how cute he is with his little lollipop. Hey, I came as soon as I could. Thanks for inviting me. Okay, so are you gonna live here or what? A scarecrow? Want me to do that? Do we have to make him a scarecrow to make him live with us? I'm leaving tomorrow. I hope you can make it. Okay, but are you gonna live here or not? Like now I'm getting annoyed. Okay, so now we have to make a freaking sta sta <laughs> scarecrow. He's really testing it now. Why do you want a scarecrow? Like what kind of request is that? Let's learn the recipe. All right, great. We need three tree branches and some weeds. Okay, that's easy. So I already found some weeds here and I saw a tree branch right here. Okay, we need one more tree branch. Here we go. <laughs> okay, my town is so cute, honestly. I'll put my um, dream address in the description if you want to visit building the scarecrow faster <laughs> and there we go this better make him stay or i'm gonna be actually annoyed i hope he's impressed how quickly we made it to <laughs> hello sir what's that yes sir we've got your scarecrow right up here can't get much better you're so quick. I knew he would be impressed by the quickness. As a thank you, I want you to have my glasses. But are you going to live here? Like, what is going on? <gasps> I'm getting to like this place. Okay, he's got the scarecrow. <laughs> He's got the scarecrow up. When I first got here, I felt like a tourist, but folks here are so generous and giving. I wish I could return every favor. <gasps> I think I would like living here. Then live here! The fuck? <laughs> Interesting, that idea ain't half bad. I don't know if I can make up my mind just yet. I got it. Invite me to your camp again. Why is he playing hard to get? I'm actually annoyed. What are we gonna do? Wait, what are we gonna do? Because now I have no Nook Mile tickets. Butch literally just told us like try again what do we do now i have to slave over here and try to get some nook mile tickets guys like i forgot how stressful this is i'm not even picking that up okay so we got that one do a group stretching session and here's where we're at now <laughs> doing stretches but my villagers are so cute the easiest might be catching the snowflakes i feel like side note here's a little story time i got a monitor to make this video and the monitor is actually like right in front of me but the whole time i was looking at my imax so like i didn't even use the monitor so that's why i'm looking the other way but like what a waste right like i could have just looked at the imac but whatever <laughs> where's the snowflakes oh there's one Perfect. We got one. What's your favorite season in Animal Crossing? Leave a comment down below. I feel like my favorite actually is winter. I think it's the cutest and I have very fond memories playing this when I was a kid like during winter break. I just love the snow in Animal Crossing. I think it's so cute. I used to make like snowmen all the time. I would say my least favorite is spring just because it's kind of like blah looking and oh my god. There we go. <laughs> Three snowflakes. Yay. Get fossils assessed. I can quickly dig some up. I kind of wish Animal Crossing did more updates because I already filled my fossils in the museum and now it's like kind of annoying because there's like nothing to work towards. I feel like Animal Crossing kind of like fell off by not doing more updates. Because remember when they did that like huge update and then they're like, that's all you guys are going to get. We're done doing updates. Like that sucks. Like they should really put more time into this game because people love it and they could make it so 
good. Almost like The Sims 4, like that game has been around for almost 10 years now and it's still good because they're always doing updates on it. Like it's still a modern game. We are assessing the fossils. Yes, sir. Okay. It just hits different when you work hard for something because I spent a good amount of time getting these Nook Maya points. So I really hope whoever we get on this island is actually good. Down to zero. <laughs> All right, let's get on another flight. Please, like, I need good luck. Please, Dodo. Please, what's his name? Wilbur? Or is he Orville? I don't know. Orville, I'm so sorry, sir. But can we please, like, stop taking me to trash islands? Like, take me to somewhere good. Like, this is ridiculous. Why do I feel like it's gonna be someone ugly? Okay, this island has pears, so we can at least gather the fruits. Let's put the shovel away. It's not a good look. What is that? Timbra? Why? Why? Oh my goodness. Like, people get such cute characters, and then on the islands, it's just, like, the most hideous things ever. I should have kept Freya. She was so cute. At least we got some pears. I'll come back when I get another Nook Mile ticket. <laughs> this is becoming Animal Crossing Day, but it's gonna be okay. I have two Nook Mile tickets, and hopefully those two trips have somebody good in them. If not, I'm going to just have it pick someone random for the plot. These birds really are a bunch of dodo birds <laughs> because they take us to the worst islands ever. I think this is island number three, so maybe it'll be lucky because third time's a charm. It's so funny how the sun is setting. All right, let's see what this island has got. I see a camp fire i see is this like fred flintstone <laughs> what is this tucker has there been an islander that you guys like that i have like passed on are you offended right now or are you guys agreeing with me that they all suck we have one more chance if this doesn't work i am literally going to let the game pick because i'm losing my patience i kind of miss when animal crossing just gave you random villagers because it was always such a thrill like you had no control over it it was either someone like really good really bad you never know and it was just so fun and it was like fun to try to get the villagers that you hate to move out of your um your town all this control on picking who goes into your town like it's it's nice but it's also like annoying too all right here we go do you guys have a good feeling about this one i honestly think it's not gonna be a good one and i think i'm gonna have to randomly select my villager that's what i think walking slowly i see something what is that wait what is that Excuse Excuse me, what are you? I'm Clay. He would be cute, I think, without the outfit and the mask. Like, why do you have to look like that? Get out of here. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving and I'm gonna leave this up to God. Just wanted to share this beautiful sunset with you guys, manifesting a good villager. This is going to be the moment of truth. I skipped ahead one day because I, why would I wait till tomorrow to finish this? Like, I have shit to do. <laughs> I'm actually nervous because I just, I know it's going to be someone ugly and I'm going to regret being impulsive, but I just don't have the patience. Like, I just don't have the patience. The villager meant for me is going to be the one that moves in. Let's enter the villa <laughs> as if this is like Love Island. I have been watching that show relentlessly and their accent is stuck in my head. Let's go try to find out who's coming. Sold. Are you guys ready? You guys are like, just do it already. Like, we've been waiting all day for this. Pecan. Let me look this up. Wait, I just looked it up. Pecan is actually cute. Like she's a little squirrel and she has the snooty personality, which is one of my favorite personalities in this game because they're so sassy. I think she can be welcomed into the bad bitch corner because she looks so cute. Okay, I'm pleasantly surprised with that. I really did not think it would be someone good. Like I, I've been blessed. Whew, okay, well I can sleep at night because... <laughs> Like what? This has literally been an all day event. Like literally the sun is setting. But you know what? I'm happy with Pecan. The sky looks beautiful right now. Like things are good. Things are good. <laughs> I don't know, I literally have spent all day with you guys on here, but let me know if you want to see more Animal Crossing videos. I can definitely make more because I literally made this whole setup just to be able to make this video. So, look at Marina sitting next to us, how cute! That will be all for today, but thank you for watching. Go ahead and join my Discord if you haven't already, and let me know what you want to see next time, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! <laughs>